in the research phase of the project after they have basically brought in the model did a tech check and fixed the landscape they're going to basically go and find some information that uh, could highlight the value of the model the heritage site or the historical site okay so i have basically the five w's but really the main goal is to fill in this chart okay so 10 really interesting facts about your model so to guide your your search well why is it important what you want is basically a title saying okay uh, why was this created maybe and you know four or five well I say you know four or five words but maybe like seven or eight is fine you have to keep it short okay so it's like the boiled down version the most important thing uh, where is it located uh, you could include that but don't put more than one of those as your 10 items because we will actually bring it in the world data uh, as well it might be good for students to know because uh, they won't know maybe that uh, for example they have the Canterbury Cathedral well it's in England okay so you might want to have that when was it relevant why maybe uh, who was involved in this site and why you know there's all kinds of historical tidbits on these sites they're they're major cultural sites or any site that you selected probably has a lot of information so your goal is to create 10 notes now these 10 notes will be put in your model so right in the model we're going to put some of the notes so there's going to be a note here so when somebody uh, walks around or is in vr they'll see they walk to the note and in fact the way it's going to work is people have to find the 10 notes and once they're done and have seen all 10 notes uh they somebody else goes and does the your walkthrough okay so that's how it will work so if you have any questions uh, teachers feel free to elaborate on this and how you know you may I strongly encourage you to look over the 10 notes of your students before uh, you have them bring it into the model and help them adapt it okay uh, the reason why I, now I just want to show this so you have a sense of why I'm telling you to keep it short um, so under here So I'm just going to click on tools and I'm going to put a note just so you get a sense of what it looks like. So I'm going to drag one in. So there's a note. So maybe I start there and using my six, seven, my uh, six key, I'm going to definitely move that up. Okay. And maybe I'll write for this one. And down here, I'll write entrance and why it's something about it that's interesting so i'll write something interesting so as you can see you could put more than a couple sentences it's just be cognizant that you know let's say if i just kept typing or can i copy and paste this a couple of times just to save some time hello oops you know just go like this you get a sense you know you don't want too much so basically in the game these 10 notes and what you're going to do is you're going to number them one okay and the goal of the student is to walk around your cathedral or your site whatever you found and learn a bunch of stuff and i gave you the five w's but maybe you want to focus on a lot of what's uh, and that's something you can discuss with your teacher and it's really important that you and the teacher look at these before you bring them into the model at this phase, I would also encourage students to find two videos that are videos that are relevant for their scene. So I found one here on Canterbury. So, uh, you know, it's a good overview. So what I'm going to do is I would come in here and in my handout, I would paste the URL. And later on, we're going to actually bring that into the uh, model. Okay, so overview of canter hurry okay and make sure that this is clickable it's easy to fix if you didn't do it no big deal uh, because what we're going to do is put in two videos inside of our uh, model okay if you have any other questions please let me know